we're going to play this game. The next one is going to be a... Oh! Oh, with a witch! Right. Ooh, okay. God, we've been evil a lot recently. Okay. Alright, this is going to be interesting. There's no Nikki, so we'll actually have to think about who we're going to curse on night one. Which Mr. Malaki, please. Still curse Nikki, not in the game. Yeah. Give him a call. Let him know that he's cursed. I guess we'll, we will we should probably wait to find out who the rest of our team are before deciding who we're going to curse. the storyteller. Yeah, we could <laughs> curse your demon YOLO. No, no thank you. I think what I might actually do, though, um, I might try and pretend that the other minion is my evil twin and I'm their good twin. I wonder, I've always kind of fancied trying to pull that one off. Hello, Mr. Burns. Hello. Ooh. Are you there? I am here. Cool, okay. Um, it was just breaking up slightly. I think that might be my end. Uh, your demon is Dakota. Okay. Uh, your fellow minion is Skills. Nice. And since I'm here, would you like to choose a player, please? Oh, God, that's a tough decision. Uh... <coughs> I think, all right, who who is likely to nominate? Who here will not probably nominate? Someone's going to take a natural leadership role. There's no Nikki, there's no Cat. They're the obvious choices, normally. <sighs> kind of feel like Pat might do some nomination, so... I, th I think I'm... Well, I think Andrew might do as well, though. Do you know what? I'll go with Andrew. We'll, we'll curse Andrew. Cool. Andrew it is. Thank you very much. Thank you. I don't think Ekin... Ekin's not normally a nominator in my experience. Ekin's usually a a sort of a, a support... A, su a support class. <laughs> he's like... He's Tarek. Has Tarek still played as a support? I haven't played League of Legends for a long time. Well, that's not true, actually. I've played it a couple of times over the last five years. Basically, as soon as Dota 2 came out, I abandoned that ship. Got straight on the... Uh, the one that the adults play. Sorry, I probably just triggered about 10% of this chat by saying that. And, and about 30% of the people in here have no idea what the, <laughs> what the hell I'm on about. <laughs> Looking forward to TI-10. Yeah, I am. I quite I quite enjoy watching TI. Um, but I'll be honest with you. I'm Ironically, I'm saying this as someone who's streaming right now, I'm not normally someone who enjoys watching other people play. Like, if you gave me a choice between watching some pros play and playing a game myself, nine times out of ten, I'll choose to play the game myself. Playing is better than watching from a streamer. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's it's crazy, right? <clears throat> I mean, honestly, this whole like streaming clock tower thing was never planned. It's just we just we did it once during lockdown because we thought it would be fun. And it was fun. So we decided to do it again. And then we were like, we're having lots of fun. Let's just do it twice a week or something. But uh, yeah, we were never sort of there was never any kind of conscious decision for this to become as big of a deal as it as it has. Uh, but obviously, I'm absolutely delighted that it has done. Um, but yeah, generally speaking, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm up for playing, man. I'll play. You got a game you want to play? I'll play it with you. I don't care what it is. Chess, football, video games, board games. I'll play. I don't really want to do the Hunger Games. I pro I'd probably say no to that one. That's probably the only game I'd say no to. Right, Dakota is our neighbour. 
that's a pretty good reason to uh, corner them for a chat on day one, right? And we love you for it. Oh, thank you. That's Russian roulette it is. Do you know what? If if the price was right, I'd probably, you know, it, like, if it's, if it's, so it depends what the Russian roulette rules are, right? Because some versions of Russian roulette, it's like a bunch of people sat around a circle and, uh, you know, you keep going. It's like a last man standing thing. But if it's just two guys, me and another guy opposing each other with like a huge, like a life changing amount of cash on the table, I'd, pro I'd probably be up for that. I'd probably be like, yeah, let's do it. That's, that, that's worth the risk. Uh, but I just want to make this abundantly clear. I am in no way endorsing Russian Roulette. Please do not go and play Russian Roulette. <laughs> Russian Roulette is bad. Firearms in general are quite dangerous. Your life is not worth several million dollars. <laughs> Would love to see you guys play some Cosmic Encounter. Yeah, I'm down for that. I actually I really like Cosmic Encounter. We, I used to um, manage a, like a board game cafe, and uh, a bunch of us staff absolutely loved playing Twilight Imperium, which is an awesome game, but it takes like seven hours to play. So if we didn't have time, we'd play Cosmic Encounter, which we refer to as Mini Twilight Imperium. It kind of has a lot of the Twilight Imperium sort of stuff, um, but just with much, much simpler and quicker mechanics. TI4 is my most played ball game. Oh, God, I love Twilight Imperium. In fact, me, me, uh, Pat, Aggie, Ed, and Jack um, sometimes get together at Pat and Aggie's house to play Twilight Imperium. That's uh, literally a bunch of us Clock Tower stream crew will get together to play Twilight Imperium semi-regularly. Speaking of great ball games, I bought Root yesterday. I played it like three times. Absolutely in love with it. Finally bit the bullet and bought myself a copy of it. And I'm really pleased to see that they kickstarted a pen and paper RPG version of it because uh, the first thing I thought when I saw that game was this would make for a really awesome RPG world. Root, R-O-O-T. Um, yeah, it's basically, if you don't know what it is, it's like, um, it's a board game where you are various different factions that inhabit a woodland and it's asymmetrical. So the different factions play completely differently to one another. Ah, do you know what? We'll save the rest of that chat for tomorrow night. <laughs> Good morning, town. As per usual on Omega Stream, I am stuck between the dilemma of run at my usual pace, finish slightly early, and have to run a speed TV, or try and slow down and feel a bit weird about it. Nonetheless, uh, the game has begun. I'll make a choice between those two things shortly. Um, can we start? <laughs> hey, hey can can I you? Mm -hmm. Again. Yeah, lead the way. Hey. Hello. I was hoping if you would be willing to do a uh, one for one, you know, the hard claim. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Okay. I'm the seamstress. Ah, oh, fantastic. Uh, I am the Oracle. You are the Oracle? Yes. Cool. Okay. Um, I have used up my ability night one, so I'd be happy to be to explain if needed. Where are you? So I'm assuming you chose me and someone. No, actually, I chose Pat and Maggie, and I got okay. no. You got uh, that they're not on the me. same team. Yep. Oh, that's going to be fun. I, lo I love a, I love a good uh, husband and wife showdown. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's good to know. Uh, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> uh, if Thank you, you want, man. I can pretend to be a spent seamstress and give your info out. Uh, sure. Sounds good. Okay. Brilliant. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Ben. Cheers. Cheers. <clears throat> All right. That's uh, that's pretty useful. Um, what I'm thinking right now is I'll con I'll I'll have Oracle as my bluff, uh, but I can always fall back on no, I'm actually uh, the mutant, that, um, or the klutz or something, um. But also the fact that I can hide behind that seamstress claim for Ekin, quite handy. 
Yeah, Ooh, anyway, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I'm just talking to chat. I didn't even know you were here. Uh, no, yeah. I was always interested to hear. <laughs> yeah, so I need to go and have a talk to Dakota. Dakota's either going to be the Vortox or the Nodashi, I think, because that obviously was incorrect information. Um, all right, let's do this. Yo. Oh, hi, Ben. Hello. Would you like to uh, chat, Aggie? Yes, I would. Andrew, would you like to chat? Why should sure. Hi, so, Ben. Aggie, hello. I wonder if you would be willing to do a one-for-one -one hard claim with me. Uh, okay. Why not? <laughs> okay. Go on, you go first. Mm, okay. Dreamer. Interesting. That's very useful. Um, in fact, that's per that's perfect. Um, <clears throat> so I am the Spence seamstress. Last night I selected you and Pat and learned that you were not on the same team. So mm. either you're not on the same team, or it's it's a Vortox game, right? So what you can do is you can select me as the dreamer, and you should get seamstress and something. Yeah, that's that's a problem, Ben, because I've already selected you as the dreamer, and I got mathematician or Serenovus. Mathematician or Serenovus? Okay. Yeah. Well, that's good, right? Because that means that you and Pat are probably on the same team, yeah? And at the okay. moment, this looks like it's probably a Vortox game. Either that, or you're just a Serenovus and you missed with your bluff. <laughs> well, if I'm the Serenovus, we'll probably... I mean, first of all, there's no evidence of a Serenovus being in the game. Um, but if there is, you know, we'll see, won't we? We'll see whether or not that comes up. But either way, um, assuming that, I mean, you, what you've just said sounded pretty genuine. You're reading quite socially quite good. So I think from my perspective, at least, I'm pretty happy with you and Pat. Uh, about as happy as you can be on day one. And okay. um, yeah, I think it's a Vortox game, honestly. Mm. Yeah, well, if both your info and my info is wrong, then uh, yeah, either that or we should start looking at my neighbors because clearly my info is wrong possibly yeah uh, or i mean you could just be lying pats and and my info is legit and pats on the good team and you're the serenovus have you talked to pat <laughs> oh yeah no i haven't but i will okay cool right let's Here's... try it good luck patrick <laughs> let's have a chat my man that for me sure the hell's he gone? Oh, he's still here. Let's go back to that alley. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hello. Hello. Um, hello. Would Benjamin you be? Would you, hello. Would you be willing to do a one for one with me? Sure. You first. <clears throat> uh, okay. I am a spent seamstress, and I'm going to give you more context it. on that when I hear what you are. Oh well, I'm the savant. Okay. Who, who has already spoken to no fewer than one spent seamstress. Yeah, was it, Ek was it Ekin? Yes. <laughs> okay, I've told him that I'm going to go around telling people that I'm the spent seamstress. Okay, so what he are was, you really? It was my first chat. Okay, so I'm, I, I'm actually the Oracle. Alright, well, I'm the savant. <laughs> so, here's the thing. Uh, Ekin selected you and Aggie and learned that you were not on the same team. Yep. Uh, I've spoken to Aggie and got a claim from her. And here's mm -hmm. the thing, uh, oh, well, I probably shouldn't say this, but Aggie, Aggie has told me that she's the dreamer who selected me and did not get my role. Two roles, neither of which were mine. So, interesting. it's looking like a Vortox game already. Or they're sat next to an Odashi, right? Yeah, but then... So, I've spoken to Ekin, obviously, before you thing, as well. The thing is, if Aggie um, sat next to an Odashi, I can't also be pro probably not also sat next to an Odashi, right? Like, possibly, indeed. So oh, Sorry, I mean Ekin. Like, oh, Ekin. No, because Ekin's right. Oh, skills is right between Aggie and Ekin. Yeah. Yep. Indeed. So, I think we don't have enough information yet to determine, but no. between... I've had that chat with Ekin, and we've come to... So, my, so I'll give you my statements. My statements are that... A once per game ability has been used, right. or there are multiple people affected by madness. When I right. said that, Ekin was like, well, I'm the seamstress, and I've used my ability. So that oh, would put us in a non Vortex world, right? So that, or, you know, what? he's lying, Ooh, I'm lying, yeah, okay. right? Well, it's possible, um, yeah, no, actually, because they would both have to be false in a Vortex world, right? Correct, Ekin yeah. is claiming to have used his ability. Indeed. Right. So, 
so so that so that was an interesting interesting situation, right? So yeah. I'd like us to get a little bit more information, but uh, to at least narrow it down. So because either e either he's just I've told him my statements. Nope. Oh, we'll see out tomorrow. All right, you just got free info, my friend. Yeah, give me two tomorrow, Dakota. <laughs> Evening all. Chats, then nominations. Uh, just to remind people, I would like juggles verbally um, if you are going to do them. Ben, we'll, we'll juggle have... that. I'm going to juggle uh, skills as all four demons and, I don't know, the witch. All right. Um, I'm gonna... I feel the love. Thank you, Ben. I have a juggle that's going to be cool. All right. Andrew P. Vortex, Navian Vortex, Aggie Vortex, Skills Vortex, Ekin Vortex. All right, I'd like to jiggle that. Ekin is the Seamstress, Skills is the Nodashi, Aggie is the Seranovas, Navian is the Dreamer, and Andrew P. is the Sage. Dakota would like to juggle that Dakota is the Oracle, Ekin is the Oracle. Madeline is the mathematician, Mr. Malaki is the seamstress, and Pat is the orc. Um, I would like to jiggle that Pat is all four demons, and <laughs> I am the jiggler. Uh, Mr. Malaki would like to juggle that uh, he is the juggler, and Navian is all four demons. Navian would like to juggle that uh, I am the juggler, and Andrew P through Jamie clockwise inclusive is the pit hag. Andrew would like to juggle that he is the juggler and his neighbors on both sides are all the Saranovas. So, two on each side. Two on each side. Cool. Thank you. Oh, out of curiosity, how many, how many here gathered daily? I think it's a Vortex game. I think it's quite likely. Yeah. I mean, we could all we could always do a hard Vortex check by not nominating. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Every fear your time. Vortex. Let's do it. It's like it's like that Blue Oyster Cult song. Don't fear the Vortex. Um, mm -hmm. I can't do that. I am obligated to fight off the Vortex. So also, please. we need more cowbell. <laughs> 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 Nominations are open. Nominations are open. So, so we're gonna do I, the easy way or the hard way. I've heard of two hard double claims so far. Um, I don't know if we should go after them or some other. Uh, I mean, that can, if you if you want to go after it, we can go after these hard claims. Now, realistically, I think the one to pursue is the one of your own role, right? Because that's the more likely in a script where you have other reasons for that to happen, right? Yes. Cool. Okay. Hmm. Cool. So, um, so I no have a new then? policy. A policy of, hey, if twins come out, I'm still going to talk to both of them. So. I, I second that policy as someone who was there when Madeline came up with that policy. Yeah, I mean, I think, it's that, I think fun, that policy right? is terrible. Presumably, we and... would have heard of twins by now, though, right? Yeah. Maybe. yeah. It probably depends on who the twins are. If it's That's the snaky guys, true, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I wouldn't blame you. I'll still talk to you. <laughs> um, so, you. what are we doing? I mean, Snake Charmer twins are fun, right? You, you can end up playing on the same team. Yeah. Second call for nominations. <laughs> Second call. They can uh, nominate Dakota. Ekin nominates Dakota. Tell us why. Um, Dakota and I. Okay. Dakota? Uh, no, you. Classic. Uh, <laughs> six votes required. Dakota also said Remember the flower girl. Sorry, Jamie. Sorry. Remember the flower girl. It's nice. It's kind of symmetrical, right? Yeah. It kind of looks like Dakota, nom Dakota nominates Ekin. Dakota, why do I have a feeling that I know what this accusation is going to be? <laughs> um, hey, 
Ekin is in a hard double claim with me. Madeline was my first chat of the day, and I hard claimed the role to them. I then went on, went on and hard claimed that same role to three other people. So I don't want to die. Let's make Ekin dead. Yeah, let's do it, team. Um, yeah, we are in a hard double claim. Uh, I don't mind dying if it's going to result in a claim, but I'm going to be correct. Uh, six to tie, seven to execute Ekin. Ekin is the source of my suspicion that we're in a Vortox game. So if he's not telling the truth, that would explain that. Yeah, then I'm not tying it now. Yeah, that would be gross. Four is not enough. Dakota's still on the block. <laughs> uh, any other nominations? Ten seconds. So the other two double claims are Ark and Andrew P. If anybody wants to go after them instead, um, hey, I would. Can I have a storyteller consult? Yep, you can. Oh, it gives us a bit longer to discuss it, doesn't it? So we have both history up. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. sounds like we need to talk tomorrow. Andrew. Yeah, I guess yeah. so. <laughs> um, but I actually would prefer to do that then. What's the double claim? So, Ekin, just to be clear, you're still claiming that you are what you told me. Ekin. Um, yes. And you're saying that Dakota has also claimed to be that role? Yes. Are, are we outing the role um, that me and Ekin are? No, no. We, I don't uh, think that's good, no? Uh, art. Madeline nominates Art. Tell us why. Apparently, he's also in a double claim unrelated to the Dakota Ekin double claim. I think this would be for our best interest. Okay, Art, right, your defense. Uh, I mean, if you guys want to switch to this double claim, that's fine. I, you know, I'd prefer to stay on the one that that we already have. But you know, your choice. Six votes to tie, seven to execute. Art. Is, is this Ma is this Madeline that realizes she's not playing BMR anymore and there's no mastermind? No. No, it's called. I think for if one of them's telling Ooh. the truth, it would be beneficial. That's currently tying. I All right. Art. Sorry, I missed the button. Uh, <sighs> not not oh, time. I didn't. Uh, no, uh, I missed the button. Uh, They'll chest it. <laughs> I wasn't expecting Six. a tie. I'm going to nominate Madeline. Uh, Pat nominates Madeline. Tell us about it. Uh, she had ample time to lower her hand not to tie the vote. She did not. Uh, we are still not sure if we are in the Vortex game or not, and that leaves me a little wary. Plus, I think she still thinks she's playing that BMR, so, you know, that could also cause a, a, a untold chaos anyway. Okay, Madeline? I am in the mind of the Violets variety. Um, yeah, I, I've had a consistent problem of putting hand down and then someone's up and it's like, ah, so I've learned to stand my ground. Anyways, I'm not a bad execution, even though... I'd prefer to live, but, like, it's not, like, the end of the world. Okay. Six to tie, again, seven to execute Madeline. If we get all hands on this, that'd be fun. I mean, I think Madeline should win, but, like, come on, Madeline. At this point, I think everybody would have voted, so, between all the oh, executions. So, well, the flower, I think everybody has voted. Everybody's raised their hands, so the flower girl will get some good information. Yeah, yeah, that's true. that's a great trade-off. Madeline on the block. Ten seconds for any other nominations. That's obviously Madeline. if there Madeline's is a flower girl. Claim flower girl. <laughs> I'm I'm not the flower girl. Don't worry. Okay. Madeline is executed and dies. The game continues. Everyone goes to sleep. Oh, God, that was a bit hairy, wasn't it? <laughs> Bloody hell. Oh, I thought we were all, I thought it was going to be all over then. Oh, thanks for the sub, Sushi Poutine. Is that actually a thing? Hello. How's the heart rate after that one, Ben? I <laughs> uh, never, yeah, I, I, that was pretty, that was pretty rough. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what's going on there with Ekin and Dakota. I'm assuming that Ekin has been made mad. Um, anyway, right, uh, I think Ekin's probably going to nominate again tomorrow. So mm -hmm. I'm going to choose Ekin. 
Ekin, it is. Thank you. We really need to talk to Dakota tomorrow. <clears throat> uh, I'm not too concerned about um, making Ekin look good. Um, at the end of the day, uh, the, 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 the question that a witch self-cursed is always on, on cards. Um, but also, ultimately, we want to... If if Ekin if Ekin dies, then they can probably come out as the mutant, which will exonerate Dakota, if that's what we think they are. That's kind of where we want the attention to be taken off of Dakota as early as possible. And I think this is probably the most direct route to it. Uh, thanks for the sub, Jackie. Yeah, I mean, we don't know what's going on there, right? I think is... Can we reasonably assume that this is a Vortox game, though? Because how, the, how else would Aggie get completely incorrect information about us? It, it must be a Vortox game. It's got to be, right? I'm, I'm going to put it down. Put down the old Vortox. <clears throat> No dashy Ekin mutant. Oh yeah, that that could work. That totally could work. That's true. Wow, imagine that. A no dashy whose tendrils spread across almost half of a twelve player circle. That's pretty cool if that's if that's what's happening. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Right. I mean, if Ekin doesn't nominate tomorrow, that's good, because we're still kind of hidden. I'm still going to work on the assumption that this is a... Oh, sorry. I think my mic cut off a bit there. Yeah, I'm still going to work on the assumption that this is a Vortox game. I think it is. It's probably... It's more likely than it being a no dashy. Oh, we've got a we've got a, a hype train coming. Choo choo train is close. We've got 18 seconds. I still don't really know what hype trains are. I'll be honest. <laughs> I'm basically just like a dog watching a fireworks display. Hello. Good morning, town. You awake from your slumbers to find that Art died in the night. <clears throat> oh, Art, thou serious? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, Ben. Ben, we chat. Hey, yes, before you guys go anywhere, before, before you guys go anywhere, Ed, mm -hmm. I have, I claim Klutz. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And... Choose me. Pick me. Choose Aggie. Pick Don't me. choose Aggie. Pick Ben. I choose Aggie. Will... I mean, we're, in a, we're in a double claim. Guys, guys, so. guys. I will choose Navian. Uh, Art claims Klutz and chooses Navian. The game continues. Right, let's go. Ben. Yo. Hello, Ben. Hello. Hello. Ben. So, uh, what are you? I am the Nodashi. Oh, that is amazing. And you poisoned Pat and Aggie, right? I'm assuming. I mean, <laughs> Ekin might be. It, it, I mean, Ekin, uh, outsider? Ek Ekin must. So, Ekin told me that, that they were the seamstress. Ekin, I'm okay. assuming, is a mutant. Because Aggie is the dreamer who chose me and learned two roles that I'm not. And the only way yeah. I can see that happening is if you're poisoning her. Pat is the savant Wonderful. who you are also poisoning. Wonderful. So, uh, yeah. Keep those guys alive. Um, I think what might be useful is if um, if we got rid of Ekin at some point. Yeah. So that he can then come out and say, I, am, I was the mutant. Sorry, Dakota. Um, you know, that that will be a, a good route to you 
getting out off the you know getting out of out of jail basically wonderful what are you me i'm the witch um so the bluffs are oracle flower girl and sweetheart i have been using oracle which is why i was very confused when ekin double claimed me because that's a bluff i am uh, yeah that's because i told ekin that i was the oracle wonderful okay good to know Do so you want me sorry. to switch off oracle uh so what were they again oracle sweetheart something else flower girl flower. right cool uh, I mean, you can do if you like. But I don't. I'm the way I see it. You get you get first pick. So either you or me. I could I could revert to sweetheart if you like. I I kind of would like if you were to do flower girl and push the vortex world. But if you need to be if you want to be sweetheart instead, that's totally fine. I, I know. Like I'm, to I'll, that's Oracle. cool. I'll I'll go with flower girl. Wonderful. Um, check the skills to make sure they aren't already flower girl. But... So everyone voted yesterday, right? Yep. Okay. Cool. All right. Um. So, right, okay, yeah, no, this is all making sense now. Um, cool, yeah, I, I will do Flower Girl. All right, wonderful. Thank you, Thank Ben. You. A good feeling, sir. Went with it. Uh, Ben, okay. would you like a chat? Yes, this lead is the way. Be fun. All right, meet me at the tavern. I go, Dad. Hello. Hello. Hi. I just wanted to say... I have scissors, and you know what I did? What I did with them? What's that? Absolutely nothing. Okay, that's interesting because uh, so you're claiming seamstress. Yeah, I do not know who I'm in a double claim with. You're in a double claim with Ekin. Good God! I know. Now Ekin yeah. told me that he used his ability on night one. He chose Pat and Aggie and learned that they were on opposite teams. Okay, that that's cool. I'm sticking to my claim. I was waiting for twins. Okay, cool. I think um, I think I'm going to nominate Ekin because none Thank of you. this is just looking so shady right now. All right, thanks. I'm super surprised by this, but thank you. No worries. Um, yeah, see you. See you around. See ya, Pat. Jamie, would you like to chat? Pat? Sure thing. Skills, uh, you want to chat? Uh, sure, Madeline. Lead the way. All right, All right so just leads us then. Andrew, do you want to go for a talk? Sounds good. Bye, yeah. Sean. Father. Hello, hello. So, um, do you just want to, like, hard claim? Or... Yeah, let's just do it. Okay. I am a unused artist. Brilliant. Um, <clears throat> I'm a flower girl. And last night, I learned that a demon did not vote. Okay, so... I am. Hmm. Ba based on that, and based on the fact that a dreamer has told me that they've seen me as two things that I'm not, uh, I'm okay. like 99.9% .9 certain that this is a Vortox game. Okay. So you're pushing on Ekin because of his uh, double claim, presumably? Um... Well, I mean, I don't think I have pushed on Ekin, have I? Oh, I thought, uh, I, I thought it was something with your info and his info. Maybe not. Maybe I missed it. No, oh, no. Ba basically, uh, I spoke to Ekin on, at the beginning of day one, my first chat, and we agreed to exchange roles and claim each other's roles. Um, uh, but yeah, I am actually going to push on Ekin, but not for that reason. It's mainly because he's now in a double claim with Madeline, uh, and his information is weird well actually i suppose okay. if, if this was a vortox game it would actually make sense yeah he gave he gave me a role and said he double or he swapped with somebody else and that puts him in a conflict with dakota so it's kind of all over the yeah. place but so if we know it's a vortox are we pretty sure it is then yeah i gotta I'm... figure out what a good i gotta figure out what a question i can ask that we can easily just flip and get the right answer yeah so i mean either that or do a vortox check but yeah i would yeah, say so boring so I would say, um, go, what you can do is you can, well, you could just ask him, is Ben the flower girl, if you like, but then you're not really gonna, I suppose you're not learning anything new from that, are you? No. Cause I, I mean, I mean, if I got a yes, then I would know you're lying, but yeah. Hmm. Yeah, oh, actually, yeah, that is that is quite a good point. You could do that. I mean, the other thing is you could just say, is the demon sat between these people? And then you learn 
that's information that will continue to be useful if it's we true. change our mind about it being a Vortox game. That's a great point. I think I might just go with that because that's yeah. um, yeah. I, I I don't like the meta of always having to just do a Vortox check with Darius. Nah, this. screw that. I mean, we've already done one basically. We're, like you know, yeah. we didn't want to. It happened to us. So not only is it like boring, but also it's just bad. Nothing bad strategy at this point. Yeah. Cool. And then um, yeah, that that works out pretty well. So brilliant. Cool. Cool. Thanks. Cheers. could really do with get that with uh, Maggie again. Yeah, she just left like a minute ago, I think, so. <laughs> My chest is killing me. I smoked a cigarette last night because, you know, for some reason I thought I was 23 again. And now I'm really, really. So I don't know why I did it. It was, it was dumb. <laughs> no, I'm suffering for it. It's just you looked at your age in the mirror and the numbers <laughs> reversed, and that was it. You what? What did we walk in on? I was, just, I was wondering the same thing. Just complaining uh, that my chest hurts because I smoked a cigarette last night for no reason. Aggie, can I talk to you? Why did you smoke a cigarette for no reason then? Because, because I'm disgusted. Because I was, the oh, you can't. Because I was drunk, Aggie. <laughs> You that were drunk, Aggie. Sense. Yeah, I was drunk, Aggie. <laughs> it's a, it's, it's, it's a new, it's a one-man play that I've written, drunk, Aggie. Yeah. That's a very interesting <laughs> yeah, it's when you, is all I'm going to say. When you drink half a glass of wine and then fall asleep instantly. <laughs> yep. Are you pulled back to the strangest conversations? Yeah. So it's all relevant. <laughs> okay, this is the plot. All right, this is a Vortox game. I'm like 95% certain that this is a Vortox game now. Um... I have reason to believe it's not a Vortox game. Really? That's interesting. We should talk yeah. tomorrow. We should absolutely talk tomorrow. Well, I mean, I, I kind of want to kill Navian today to prove whether it's a Vortox or not. Because I think well, we found the same well, info, Navian, and my, I don't my think info. That's the thing. Okay, well, so let, 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 me, let me tell you my info real quick is if it's not a Vortox, then Navian for sure is the big bad evil. So. I like to get rid of that worldview, you know? Okay. Is this, is this, there a, is this still a hell double claim between you and Ekin? No, this is, a, this, this, is, this is a separate source that is not tainted by whatever nonsense Ekin is doing. Oh, speaking of Ekin, are you claiming something else too? Uh, <laughs> depends on... Um... What you're asking about? I, I can give some clarification on this one, guys. I can confirm that Madeline and Ekin are both claiming the same role. Interesting. Is that the same role we discussed as well, Ben? Uh, Wait. Yes. Is that a separate oh. role Ekin is playing with me? Uh, so, actually, um, Ekin was lying to you about being your role on my request. So that was my fault. Uh, that was the Ooh. lie on day one. Thing going massively wrong. You two aren't actually in a conflict at all, uh, but Madeline okay. and Ekin are. Um, I would like to say that if we are in a Vortox world, then there is an evil player who got my hard claim off of likely another evil player that I would have hard claimed to on day one. And that's like, I the reason I, I think that we're not in a Vortox game is uh, because someone has seen me as a role that I am. Okay, interesting. Cool. Very interesting. Um, the reason I think we're in a Vortox world is because Flower Girl info last night was impossible unless the Flower Girl was poisoned or in a vo or in a Vortox game. Oh, you could be no Dashi. She be no Dashi. Oh, the all well, the Flower Girl could just be evil, right? Yeah, and painting that world as well. Yeah, so nominations we... are open. So what are we doing, guys? I have heard I someone like saying. Sorry, I was just going to say, I've heard of someone saying Mathematician 1, so... Yeah. Is, that on, of... is that on, on first night or last night? Uh, I've that... heard of a both night. Oh, yeah. or it was on both nights? Okay. I believe so. Interesting. Uh, someone started a nomination, but didn't finish it. Sorry. Does that I person still want to do it? No, no, you, you just spoke at the same time. That's fine. I don't know if I want to nominate the lackey or anything. I'm just going to get the ball okay. rolling here. I nominate Ekin. Ben nominates Ekin. Tell us why. 
Um, Ekin is in a hard double claim. Uh, the role that he's claiming to be is not going to be useful going forward. And honestly, I think that it's less likely that Ekin is that role than Madeline. Um, so I just see this as kind of a no-brainer. We might be in a Vortox game. It's the it's the least painful way to satisfy that potential, um, you know, loss condition. So, yeah, Ekin. Ekin? So I'm going to say that me and Madeline are not in a double claim because I... Uh, Feload into the role that Madeline is, and um, I have used it up, so I'm okay to die, but uh, it's not actually a double claim. Okay, five votes acquired. How can you okay. roll for philosophy? <laughs> well, if he d if he did indeed do that, then that would satisfy the mathematician one, right? Also I put never us on an, used an, an, ability. Uh, yeah, Madeline didn't really. Okay. So no. Okay. Even more Vortex, unless I think six yep. is enough. <laughs> Ekin is on the block. Any other nominations? Ten seconds. Oh, Mr. Markey nominates Navian. Okay, tell us why. If this is a Vortox game, then Navian is almost certainly the demon, based on my information, unless I am sat next to a no dashi. Okay. Navian, your defense. Cool. Uh, I've been seen by a dreamer as the role that I am and a demon. So if people want to kill me to clear that up, then then they absolutely can. Um, I am not going to advocate for my own death because I know that I am the good role that I was seen as. So either Mr. Maliki here is evil, has gotten my hard claim off of another evil player that managed to hear what my claim is and gave it to me, or... Uh, we should just kill into people who are in things like weird double claims and pivoting. Okay. Six to tie, seven to execute Navian. So is Mr. Malaki claiming Dreamer than Navian? Because I've heard of a different Dreamer. No, but Mr. Malaki is in a hard double claim with someone, which I find interesting. <laughs> so many hard double claims of this. Did you guys not get your rolls? Navian is safe for um, today. Excuse me if you want. I'm the juggler who got a one on juggling myself, and Navian is all four demons. Therefore, if it is Vortox, she is the demon. Um, uh, if it's not. Vortox. Final call, 10 seconds. Thank you, Mr. Malaki. Ekin nominates who? Mr. Malaki. Okay, Ekin nominates Mr. Malaki. He dies. Uh, tell us why you've nominated Mr. Malaki. Oh, interesting. Hello, Rich. Um, yeah, used up juggler. Um, going against the Vortex world. Um, either way, Navi Navian is kind of confirmed by Arthur so I think we should resolve this. Okay, Mr. Malaki. Uh, I don't like dying as juggler, um, but it's all right today. Okay, six to tie, seven to execute. Hmm. Your juggler claims a hard double claim, by the way. Then <laughs> everyone's in the let me know who... I know. Who is the other one? Because I mean, I, I feel like now I'm not going to have that. Eddie, this is yeah, a social I'm experiment. Hard... <laughs> I'm not a double claim anymore. <laughs> um, I mean... Ben, just to confirm, every game I run is a social experiment. But that's not what <laughs> this one of the is a social experiment of the Fallout Vault variety. <laughs> um, Mr. Malaki is on the block. Uh, I plead the fifth on Ben's question. Um, uh, Mr. Malaki's on the block. Ten seconds for any other nominations. All I was going to say is that. Oh, sorry, go. On. I was the mutant, so oh. if you're I here of well. any. Other mm -hmm. outside of stuff, just cool. a heads up. That's I've already had two, three hard claims of outsiders in that case. Yeah, Mr. Malaki is executed. He dies. Everyone goes to sleep. We are absolutely cruising here, guys. We're about to get our uh, fifth kill. All of our team still alive. I think tomorrow we're going to go with Jamie simply because we don't know what he is. Mm. 
we are, I think we want to keep Navian alive. We don't want to curse Navian because uh, there's a Navian is a potential demon from the pers the perspective the Vortox world that we're trying to create. Need Navian alive for that, I think. I wonder what skills is. Oh, sorry. Ugh. My apologies for that. You're going to see more of that. I've chugged a cup of coffee before the stream. Um, I'm running on caffeine right now. Caffeine and, and a genuine love for uh, <laughs> for tabletop games. Hey, Ben. Hello. Who would you like to witch today? Uh, Jamie, please. Jamie, you <clears throat> got it. Thank you very much. I'm guessing Andrew's probably used his artist question. But we probably don't need to worry about him too much. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm not being very entertaining here. I, I say this every night, don't I? I'm just staring at this circle thinking, right, what can I mean, eventually, our Vortox world will probably crumble. And at that point, it's going to be a case of surviving the attrition. But I think we've gotten to a point in the game now where the, it, the good team are going to find it difficult and going to find themselves increasingly close to being outnumbered if they don't nail at least one of us today. Need to decide flower girl info. I mean, most players voted yesterday, right? Did Navian vote yesterday? Pretty sure Navian voted yesterday. So I think we're going to go now. Bigger Mortis kills an evil twin in the night. Parts of their powers still work. That's a good question, actually. <laughs> I've never thought about that before. Um, Evan is probably around, but you've got an answer for that, haven't you, Evan? Yeah, so... Yeah, I think we're just going to go with no again for tonight. Nice and vague. I'm quite happy to die. <clears throat> I don't mind. I don't mind being killed tomorrow. What's the question, Evan? The question, Evan, is if a uh, if a Vigor Mortis kills their evil twin, does the ability persist? Good morning, town. Andrew died in the night. Uh, Dakota, can we have a chat? That's fine. Um, ben, Andrew, yeah, did, you, uh, did you do what I we did. discussed yesterday? Yeah. Let's talk. Oh, okay. Um. <clears throat> Hello. Uh, I asked if the half between uh, you and Madeline um, going up is a demon, and I got a no. Okay, so... Uh, if it is a Vortex, then it would be Jamie, Pat, or you. Uh, <clears throat> if it's not a Vortex, then... Oh, wait, am I getting that backwards? I don't no, know. No, you, no you, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. You, you were told that the demon was not up there, so in a Vortex world it is up there. Yeah. Um, yes. I think it's quite likely that, that Pat is the demon. Mm -hmm. Either that... Well, yeah. Uh, Pat's, I, I think Pat's either the Vortox or the Nodashi, which would explain my information. Yeah, because uh, Malaki is going off his info too, and if his info is poison also, then, you know. But if you and I are both legit, both of our infos can't be wrong uh, from poisoning, so... Yeah. I mean, it is uh, technically possible, but yeah. <laughs> or, I mean, you know. Uh, not likely. Uh, yeah, I'm unlikely. guessing we, based on all the double claims, I'm I'm inclined to believe we have a Saren Novus as our second yeah. minion, unless they're really actively hiding that pit hag. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. Totally. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, I, I don't really have any other hard claims from pretty much anybody, except for, uh, I, I assume Dakota's role because of the double claim. And then, yeah, Ekin was claiming Seamstress before. What is, what is, uh, what is Navian claiming, do you know? I don't, I, I, I just marked her as good, uh, assuming that art is legit. Right, okay. Um, oh, I got, I got a two from Aggie and a two from Skills, and, um, actually, now that I... Oh no, because Akin was claiming mutant, so I guess that would make potential sense. So, um, I'm wondering if I should out this info or wait until it's like really down to the wire there, like not give them a chance to work around my info, you know? I mean, I th my my instinct in those situations is always to talk because I've seen yeah. too, so many good teams just clam up and then it's too late. Yeah. Well, it's your call. It's your info, your call. Yeah, I, I, was, in, I was inclined to, but it, it didn't really... Uh, didn't really come up yesterday. If, if the tie stayed, I would have probably have just not myself or, or no, I guess I can was still on the block. I, I, it's fine either way. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm a, I'm a fine kill, so it's fine. All right. Cheers. Cool. Thanks. <clears throat> now we can talk privately in here as well. Hi, chat. So, uh, I, I would really quite like to talk to Aggie. Ben, can we chat? Yes, lead the way. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. <clears throat> Yo. What are you claiming? Me? Yeah. I'm the I'm the flower oh. girl. You're the flower girl. Thought yeah, you might I... based on your yeah. Uh, <laughs> Very sort of, of me, right? Girl. Yeah, I'm uh, the fl I'm the flower girl who's had two nose. Okay, so if it's Vortox, it is 100% Navian because I got a one on a juggle of myself as juggler. And Navian is all four demons. Well, here's the thing. I I know of an artist who asked if the demon is sat in the top half of the circle between me and Madeline, and was told uh, no. So if it is a Vortox, based on that information, it can't be Navian. I if they're told Navian, no, then it means yes. Yeah, exactly. So that means uh, that the means demon is Navian. No, no, no. He got he got a no for the d demon between me and Madeline. No. In a Vortox game, that becomes a yes. So that means the demon is me, Pat, or Jamie. You understand? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so here's the thing. Um, I think what's probably happening is um, either... I, th I think what's probably happening is Navian is the... Um, Navian is like a minion or something. And I think Pat's the Vortox. Possibly, but claim to be under the powers of the Stellar Novus yesterday, which who, makes it who Pat? Pat, yes. Okay. Well, which I mean, that's... takes them out of a double claim and makes as long as no one else is claimed to be mad yesterday, puts them in the good pile. In my I suppose, mind. but like having like Stellar Novus in your demon is a good way to make them seem legit. Uh, I think I'm going to need to talk to Aggie now. Okay. All right. Cheers. You know. Right. <clears throat> Don't think Aggie's gonna come. Because <clears throat> it's not bad. It's not All the right. worst loss. Uh, I would like to share oh, some info. Navian, Navian asked me for a chat at the same time, and Chats. I was waiting for you to react. Chats think, the nums. Andrew I think Andrew, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, I am a spent artist. Uh, uh, depending on whether or not we have a Vortox, we can maybe narrow it down a little bit. I asked if the top half-ish uh, Madeline, Art, Jamie, Malaki, Pat, and Ben, I asked if one of those six is the demon, and I got a no. Ooh. Ooh. So, Ooh. Depending on that, so we can narrow the demon down to half the grim, depending on if it's a Vortox. So I can't trust Jamie. I don't think he's his demon material. I can trust Ben as well. So if this is a Vortos game, there's clearly me, right? <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I... Pat. That was my thought as well. That's <laughs> so, <laughs> right. So the, the, there's also the worldview where it is a Vortox game. Um, but and why would Andrew? Why would Andrew die at night if it was a Vortox game? He's fine. Never mind. Mm. Because, because the demon's so, killing. Because I believe it's a Vortox. 
right? Like, I believe it is. This. Um, and if Malachi isn't lying, that means Navian has to be the demon. If you're saying, oh, our Clutch picked Navian, they're the Serenovus, we have no proof that they're the Pithag, mm -hmm. but if Art has been Serenovus as Clutch, and had to pick a oh. name, pick Navian, nothing happened because they're not actually the Clutch, which means Navian would be the demon if Malachi wasn't lying. But now with Andrew's question, I don't know how that fits into this worldview. But the it thing doesn't because I'm not the demon, that's why. Yeah, Navian's not the yeah. demon. I think it's more likely well, that Navian is a yeah. minion. Possibly. Okay. Mm. <laughs> so do we think it's not Vortox or do you think Malachi was lying and is a, de and, uh, is a minion? And I do not. Okay, I mean, so. He, okay, I'll just be very transparent about everything. Uh, I am the clockmaker. I got a one. I hard claimed to art and skills at the same time on day one. Mr. Malachi came to me yesterday and was like, uh, you know, I wanted to see if you wanted to give me any claims. And I said, well, I've hard claimed to a few people. I don't think I'm going to do that today unless you have something to give me. He goes, well, what if I told you there's a dreamer who saw you? And I gave him three roles. He picked my role out and said, well, I've seen you as either your role, the clockmaker or the vigor mortis, uh, which is clearly painting a world where I could be a vigor mortis who vigor killed art, who klutz confirmed me. It's, it's the only way to throw shade on a klutz confirmed player. So if everybody wants to kill me today to get this worldview out of the way, fine. I'm just a clockmaker. I mean, if Navian is the demon, that's an incredibly ballsy thing to say, right? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? yeah. So, so that seems pretty. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm inclined. He's to got the skills. Navian. So I mean, it's, it's still could be a Vortox, but Malaki is evil, and Navian isn't actually implicated, and it'd be Jamie or Pat or Ben, I guess. But so the, the question that we still have is, we still have too many outsiders. If this is a non-Fangu game. Who's the other outsider? Who's the other outsider? Some uh, I'm, I'm not I've got three down. I've also got two players um, in, uh, still in a double claim. Uh, Dakota, are you still claiming what you said to me on day one? Yes, someone... that's no longer a double claim. We've got someone who's uh, out. It is. As being, it is. Been With a different person. Is that person, no either, is that person me or Ekin? Uh, no. Okay. There's another Oracle hard claim out there? What is going uh, on? Yeah, we've got, hang on a minute. We probably got a Serenovus, right? At this point. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Well, that's not worried too much about Serenovus, so yeah. I think double claims are. Yeah, Serenovus just yeah, managed to get someone to hard claim in front of the group, so well done, Serenovus. Let's not let them have any more freebies. Alright, so. That at least means that we know we have a witch, right? And potentially we know what the second yeah. minion is, right? If we believe that's that's that world, right? Yeah. So it still doesn't explain the three outsiders. If we believe Art and Ekin. Uh, yeah, it, it's. I think there might be a Sarah. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I believe well, Ekin's claim. There's no reason call, to make that. Second call for nominations. Argue will nominate skills. Argue nominate skills. Tell us why. Okay, uh, Skills is also claiming to be an outsider, and Skills, do you mind if I out this, or...? No, go ahead. Okay, uh, so Skills claims Sweetheart, and, you know, might make someone drunk, but as far as I can tell, this is a Vortox game anyway, so even if he drunks an information roll, this does nothing at all uh, mm -hmm. to mess things up for us, so we might as well, and also there's a suspicion that he might be evil, so let's try this. Skills? Uh, I'd prefer not to drunk anybody, but if this clears up some world views, I'm alright with it. Four to execute. There are still some roles that maybe haven't procced or maybe haven't been used, so I don't know if we want to necessarily have them drunk, but hey. <sighs> really well, I don't think Ed would make them drunk. Uh, uh, thank you, Ben. Don't, don't waste your... Yeah, thank you. Alright. Four is enough skills on the block. Uh, that eliminates the Shangu game at least, right? 10 seconds. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm going to nominate Pat. Ben nominates Pat. Tell us why. <clears throat> I am a flower girl who has had two no's in a row. <clears throat> if this isn't a Vortox game, then that means either Pat or Dakota is the no dashy. Um, having spoken to Pat and Dakota socially, I kind of feel like... I mean, I, I, don't, I haven't played with Dakota anywhere near as much, but Pat just seemed very, very cavalier 
to be telling me I can't really can't say much more without outing him, but basically socially he read very evil to me. Okay. Pat, your defense. I don't think I read socially evil. Quite the contrary, but <laughs> you know. <laughs> That's about it. I'm still an ongoing information role. If you want to kill me, kill me. At least it takes that off the table. But I'd say killing the outsider makes more sense for a fan coup. And yeah, if we believe Andrew, this is a Vortox game, which I have still no idea, then yeah, I am a good candidate and I wouldn't fault anybody for voting for me right now. Okay. Uh, four to tie, five to execute. Pat. This is one. Was anyone mad yesterday? Game. Was anyone mad yesterday? Well, yeah, then, Ben, we have three claimed then, outsiders, and they've been claiming that all game. Yeah. So, yeah. Mad locking is a thing. It at, is. Worst, at worst, though, skills is a, a minion, right? Why do you want to vote on that? That's what, yeah. Two. Wait, what? What was the question? Two is not enough. Pat Why didn't you vote on killing me? I did vote on killing you. Yeah, Dakota that's did. Skills, that's skills, not, not you. That's oh. skills. Well, probably because his, well, it was his demon that was on. It <laughs> was up for. <laughs> uh, well, final call, ten not. seconds. I think skills is probably evil anyway, so I think this is not the worst skill. All right, fair enough. Okay, skills is executed and. Dies. The game continues. Everyone goes to sleep. All right. I think we're in a slightly less strong position than we were at this time, going into last night. Hello. Hello. Um, <clears throat> this is difficult. I think I will. I. I'm gonna curse. Uh, I could curse Aggie, but I think she's the main. Did I? Did Navian say that Aggie got correct information on? Aggie's poisoned. Uh, do you know what? I'll keep I'll keep the curse on Jamie. Sticking with Jamie? Yeah. You got it. Thank yeah, you. I'll keep the curse on Jamie. I uh I kind of like having Aggie here with all the poisoned info. Yeah, poisoned is not Vortox, that's true that's correct. Ed can give correct info. But I would be surprised if he did. Uh, simply because, obviously, in the early game as a storyteller, you generally back evil plays. Because evil always start the game losing. So, I would be quite surprised if that were the case. But, it wouldn't be the craziest thing I've ever seen. No one's being mad or pit hagged what is skills. Now, I think people have been made mad, and I think skills is the Serenovus who's made the same person mad over and over again. Uh, that's my That's my theory. Uh, if if skills was the Serenovus, I'm gonna start claiming that I was the sweetheart. <laughs> People are mentioning a mathematician. Ed could be giving true info to hide the nude. Possibly. Yeah, I think I think we can safely assume that skills was the Serenovus. So I'm I'm going to start. Oh, what shall I claim to be? <clears throat> I'm. Oh, we'll we'll claim to be Snake Charmer. We'll say that um, I was the demon, and uh, now I'm the Snake Charmer. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna we're just gonna th we're just gonna throw caution to the wind, and we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna try and make it look as though uh, we were made mad. Oh no, we're no let's let's not talk to skills. Let's definitely not talk to skills. Good morning, Navian died in the night. I am free. All right. <laughs> All right, everybody. I know. I know for a fact that nobody else was mad because until tonight, I was mad every single day. Savant, juggler, oracle. Thank you. I am neither of those roles. Apologies for all the double claims. Screw you, Serenovas. Uh, I I have a, a very important announcement to make. Um, I have just become the snake charmer. 
What? Boo. So you were the Boo. demon? I, w I was the demon. Last night, I became the snake charmer. Who were your minions? My minions were Andrew P and Skills. Oh, oh wow. poor shit. Oh my god. I'm willing to believe that Skills died. I I'm no absolutely longer being mad. believe it was Skills. Mm -hmm. And I don't believe Andrew P. That, that is absurd. Well, I mean, that, I can only, I can only tell you what I know. I am I am the snake charmer, and ben, I was the snake were charmer. You? Why would Andrew P? I was I was previously the Vortex. Incriminate... Why would his answers information incriminate his own demon? <laughs> because all I can of tell all I can all I can tell you, I don't have answers to your questions. All I can tell you is that until last night, I was not the snake charmer, and I am now the snake charmer. Yeah. Oh man! Is, is this a play? That's the real question. It could be a Serenovus saying Serenovus. Yeah. The issue I have this, I am not Serenovus, lads. I am the Snake Charmer. Please do not discount this information. It is going Can to be critical. Did you claim some other roles, Benjamin? <clears throat> I beg your pardon. Did you just claim some other roles, just in case you know? I I am <laughs> not. I am please. not willing to do that. Uh, I don't want oh. to lie. Okay. You just said I was your minion. <laughs> All I can tell you is that yeah, 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 yeah. until last yeah, yeah. night, I was not so the snake charmer. Now I am. <laughs> so, anyways, you guys okay. want to take care of Pat? <laughs> Interesting. Okay, fine. Oh, man. Okay. What, what actually Pat, 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 so what are you claiming now? Yes. No, yes. but seriously, this is, <laughs> this is that, really right? unhelpful. Or, wait, Jamie, it... Huh? Yes. Wait, wait, I'll wait, probably be the Serenovas, darling, so I'm not going to claim He's going to be like, well, up until last night, I was the snake charmer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I'm expecting him to say. <laughs> it's like, shit. Nope, I'm I, never in this game have I been the snake charmer. No. Uh-huh. I'll be yeah. honest. Like I, In my whispers with Skills and Andrew P, they both socially seemed like a little bit like... I don't know. I, I got some kind of like evil vibes off of them, so I don't think it's beyond the realms of possibility, but I, I, I don't know. I um, think it's more likely that Mr. Maliki would be the other minion just based on the fact that they claimed Dreamer. Apparently, Skills was also putting Dreamer in some of their early claims, so it seems like that was quite possibly a demon bluff. Yeah, Maybe. with no, you, with you no. dead, I now know. But it's not a Vortox, so what Ben has said is complete rubbish. It hold, is hold a Vortox! Hold on, so real quick, yeah. there is a worldview where it is still Skills and Malaki as the as the minions. Ben is still good, and one of Pat, Jamie, Aggie, or myself are the, the, the demon. I know I'm not the demon, but there is a worldview where that is the case. Well, we still it's still important for us to figure out whether it's actually a Vortox game or not, because my Clockmaker 1 can help narrow some stuff. I, I have gotten a 1 every single night as the Oracle. I think that there is at least more than one dead minion. Mm. I, I currently buy into the worldview where Skills and Malaki are the, uh, are, are the minions. And one of Jamie, Pat, or Aggie is the is the demon. I mean, if you've gotten a one every night, then it can't be a vortex Inclu game. Including the first night where Art and Madeline were the only people dead. It could be. Right, but at one point we would have had only one evil dead, right? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Well, then, and then how does, how does, unless I'm sitting next to an Odashi, but... I don't know. Mm -hmm. Unless Mal maybe Malaki isn't evil, and it was a, a zero. I'm, I'm confused. Well, I'm oh, inclined ben. to believe Ben yeah. Odin so far that the moment Skills died, I am no longer mad. Cool. Ma maybe but this maybe be Andrew P and Skills are the minions. Oh my god. Okay. I'm down to be executed. Like Madeline, I can see your message in the text. I'm I, I am a mathematician. I've got a one every night. I think I can't contribute anything to solving this game with my information. So if you want to rule me out of the equation, then absolutely execute me. But I'm not the demon. 
Oh, yeah, the, one we all know discuss- the, the one we're not The person we're not discussing in this is Aggie. The final three. She's been the True. quietest, uh, and she's getting, again, away scot-free. While we're discussing executing everybody else. Is there any reason we shouldn't execute Aggie here? No, we that's... the most innocent totally person in town, like every single With game. Aggie, no dashi, uh, the clockmaker number, and the oracle would be... Poisoned? I am telling you we, categorically yeah. that this is not a no dashi game. Okay. I mean, that was also working uh, the game, right? What, what, what were your bluffs, then? Since you guys My don't want to go anywhere... The... Artist, sweetheart, and flower, flower girl. Um, <laughs> right. Since you guys don't really want to go anywhere, uh, nominations are open. You do not have to use them immediately. Thank you. Yeah, so again, what? the only person here we're here not discussing... If it's a Vortos game, then I don't know where that trust for Aggie would be coming from. Uh, but I think uh, Jamie's a, a good potential right. candidate, but... But again, I, I'm looking at people that are, that are quiet. That you know, the demon doesn't want to be known. The demon doesn't want to be pointed at. The demon doesn't want to be discussed. And that's currently yeah. Aggie in, in this discussion. So Ben, what, what were your bluffs? I'd be fine. I'd be fine voting for either Jamie or Aggie. I'd be fine nominating either Jamie or Aggie as well. Uh, Ben's an artist. Ben, Ben's bluffs are my claim, skills claim, and his own claim. Mm-hmm. Pat, for, uh, the the issue with Aggie being the demon right here is that um, Aggie has been claiming Vortex world from the start. Um, so if she was the demon, then Ben, ben Snake Charm thing doesn't work. Um, so that, that's why I'm, I'm a little it, hesitant if Aggie is Vortex or not. Also, if Skills is a minion, that would make a Clockmaker 1 true, which means that I wouldn't have gotten Vortex info. Yeah, but if Aggie was as long as Aggie charmer, was the starting demon, if Aggie yeah. was the snake charmer, then yeah, yeah. that's my point. If Aggie was the snake charmer, she wouldn't have known it would be vortex. I guess she could have made up a vortex yes, world. She could have just got lucky, person. right? It's a binary world. Well, it's either it is a, a, a vortex game or it isn't, right? Yeah, I mean, in my really in my sad. opinion, uh, it seems more like it's probably Pat, the guy who has claimed three different things on three different days. Then, yeah, and I, okay. I did just say I was Serenovus mad on every single day. Why would I change my claim and pull attention to me as the demon every day? Like that's well, you were the, you were the demon until last night. <laughs> that's the point I'm trying yeah. to make. Also, I would say back up of and again, if I was a snake charm, why, why would I claim different roles? Right? I don't know, man. It doesn't make sense. Aggie will nominate Pat. Aggie nominates Pat. Tell us why. Uh, well, all all these reasons really. Uh, so I'm the dreamer. And I've been sure that this is a Vortex game, or also pointing fingers at my neighbors, honestly, because my info is clearly wrong. Everything I've dreamt was like had nothing to do with reality. Uh, and last night I dreamt Pat as either the town crier or, or a witch, so pretty sure he's not any of that. He might not be any of the things he's been claiming. Apparently he's not Serenovist, and for some reason Ben's coming out as being Snake Charm. So the only Snake Charm I can place on this board is Pat right now. So I think we should probably get rid of that. Okay. Pat, your defense. Well, I've discussed this at length already. I was Serenovist mad for the first three days. Uh, claiming to be a dreamer who got bollocks information is very handy for a Snake Charmer, right? Because, oh, it's probably a Vortox, maybe. A oh, no, I lied. I was mad, right? So that is much easier to do than pull off an actual dreamer in an actual scenario. So by all means, kill me here. The game will not end uh, because I am the sage and that's why I've not claimed so far. So it doesn't look like I'm going to die at night because, again, I'm convenient to the evil team. So by all means, I'll even vote for myself, but then the game will not end. So have fun. Okie dokie. Should I put a dead on why would you come out as Sage at a point where you're more likely to be killed than any other moment in the game? Because at this point there's so much suspicion on me that if I was the demon, I wouldn't kill myself. I'm I'm doing this to prevent, like, tying. Mm -hmm. So why would I do that? It's because I'm not going to die at night, am I? Four is enough. Patrick is on the block. Ten seconds for nominations. Carry on. And And this takes off the most world views around me being evil, so yeah. But if it is an evil team of Ben, Dakota, and Aggie, we've just lost. Yep. I mean, I'll happily put a, put a hand it's up not... for Aggie if you want to counter-nominate, Jamie. 
I don't wow. think that it's been Dakota and Aggie. I think there's Patrick a world where it could be Ben and Dakota together, but not with Aggie. Patrick is executed. He dies. We are all sad. Pat is dead. Everyone goes to sleep. What a surprise. Mm. Okay. All right. Don't want to speak too soon, but I think this is working. <clears throat> So tomorrow, I'm going to um, announce that I was made Serenovus mad yesterday. Uh, oh, hello, Ed. All right, you, do you want to make the most pointless choice you ever make in a game? Yeah, I mean, I'll just I'll just use <laughs> Jamie again. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna announce tomorrow that I in fact was not uh, that I was actually made mad by the Serenovus. You reckon Dakota kills Ben tonight? <laughs> I hope not. Yeah, I think Jamie's probably the most sensible kill. So yeah, tomorrow we're going to say that we were Serenovus yesterday, <clears throat> thus setting up Pat to look like the Serenovus. And um, really, I, I think it's ours to lose at this point. Aggie is a great demon. <laughs> Make Aggie. It kills Aggie and Jamie. Um, at all, he dies. No, no, no. So the witch ability goes away when there are only three players left alive. That's why Ed said it was a pointless choice. Dakota sinks, that's actually not a bad thing. Um because <clears throat> then we can we can force a uh, we can force a situation where good have got to make a choice. Good morning town. I would like to let you know that Aggie died in the night. Well. Okay. Well, well, well. Uh, I was mad yesterday, in case that wasn't painfully obvious. I am not the snake charmer. I've never been the demon. No, I think you're a minion. I think Dakota is <laughs> the demon. Um, Skills was the other minion. You're covering for the fact that we killed the Serenovus. Yep. Ooh, I don't yep. think any of that is happening, but then we're n I am if somewhat we're not biased. In a, if we're not in a Vortox world, then that makes my Clockmaker 1 true. Combined with Andrew's question, asking from Madeline through Ben, it just leads to Dakota. Except for the fact that I... And then snake charmer. Oh god. Well, I've yeah. always been a snake the, charmer. I, the I other world. Not, the other world of the demon. That, I've always been a snake charmer. The other world what? that has Navian is Dakota's a Nodashi, and that Nodashi poison went all the way to Aggie, the dreamer, through Ek and the Mutant, Skills the Minion. And and Ben is really the flower girl, but was also Nodashi poison. So either way, it could either be the way it points to Dakota. Yeah, exactly. Or oh, Ben is the Serenovas, Serenovas themselves, to again. Absolutely. They could, they could take it off me, point me, you know, to get executed. Great for him, right? So, and then it could be Ben and Jamie still. It could be Ben. I am the snake charmer. I have always been the snake charmer. I mean, I would also, I would also Sarah, m m make my demon mad as the Serenovus just for the lulz, yeah. Um, can I hear? I don't have anything in my grim for Aggie or Madeline. Do you guys have any info that can help us out? Well, Seems Aggie's just never Aggie, used. Well, Aggie came out as the dreamer yesterday. Mm. Oh, I must have missed that. Yeah, I did. Don't believe that, but still. Oh man. Um, so... who did you dream? Uh, well, I started off with Ben, and I got either mathematician or Sarah Davis, which was clearly wrong. Uh, then I was it? checked. Mm, then I checked Madeline, uh, who died pretty meekly in the day. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna expect something that wouldn't mind dying and I got Oracle or Witch so I was like um probably not uh, then I checked skills because I was wondering maybe he said not actually got Savant uh, Serenovus 
and uh, then I checked Pat, and I got Town Crier or Witch. So I think maybe it's the other way around. Maybe Skills was the Witch and Pat was the Serenovus. I think that Dakota as a Nodashi makes sense there. Oda nominates Jamie. Uh, I'm going to say nominations aren't open, but you've okay. got a couple of minutes, Chahan. So the well, funny I nominate thing is... Dakota. Oh. <laughs> I'm dead. Sorry. Oh, okay. So I mean, it, it works with the math one, right? If Aggie is being Nodashi poisoned and she's getting wrong info every single day, uh, every single night from that Nodashi poisoning. Mm. Then that, and that would make what? Ekin, the mutant, and skills the other minion to get all the way to Aggie? Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the funny thing is, every time I'm the mutant, I get into a double claim with the demon, and then they're always sitting next to me, so. I don't know if this is what happened here, but it's okay. I can. When oh, when the Serenovas oh, oh. targeted me on day or on night on the first possible night as the as the savant, I was fairly certain that I was Aggie, and, and then she was like, "You dislike the savant? Well, there you go. You don't have to make up information." <laughs> but then it changed, so I don't think it was anybody I know. Uh, All I know nominations are in a worldview. In a worldview where Ben's a demon, in a worldview where Jamie's a demon, in a worldview where I'm a demon. All I know is that I have been the snake trapper this entire day. Jamie, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what wealth he is here, the demon at the moment. Okay, well then I'll nominate Ben. I, I don't I don't I don't mind which demon the target we killed. I just know I'm not the demon. And I know that Ben and Jamie have to be the demon because of that. So I'll nominate Ben if you want me to. So who did you pick last night? Me? Yeah. I picked Aggie. Aggie was in the live last night. You cannot pick Aggie. Yeah, that's mechanically well, impossible, Dakota. Well, that's... I don't know what to tell you. Well, well no, 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 no. What, 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 Dakota's, what Dakota's saying is he's the demon and he picked Aggie. Aggie died at night, everything checked out, right? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't know what you're saying. Did, did Aggie die last night? Well, you'll yes, well, claim to have picked Aggie. Aggie, Aggie, Aggie died last Because Snake Charmer would go first. Oh, yes, that's true. Yeah, that's true, actually. Yep. Snake yeah. will first stab. My constant... The Nodashi doesn't really make sense because if Ben is good, if, we, if we're saying it's Aggie and Ben, then my, that doesn't match up with my one. No, no, it's uh, Ben is a minion, Dakota is oh, the demon, Skills yeah. is the other minion. The Nodashi right, right. world That's that Navian is pushing, has to, it has to be a world where I'm evil. Right. So are you, are you still claiming Your Flower Girl is then? Sorry? Are you, still, are you still claiming Flower Girl in that yes. case, Ben? Yes, yes, I am. What did you get last time? Uh, I once again got a no. Okay. When I got a no voted. every night. Then your information doesn't link up with mine at all. <laughs> I know. It's... That's what concerns so, me. So either you're evil or drunk, so you should be going for Dakota either way. I, yeah, I yeah. agree. I think it's quite... I think, of, well, of the two... I, well, it's not Jamie. It's just not Jamie, is it? It's definitely not Jamie. There's no, there's oh, no world it? where it could be Jamie. So that, so really, from your perspective, from from your team's perspective, or from like from your collective perspective, it has to be either me or Dakota. And I know it's not me, so it has to be Dakota. Oh, then I mean, Dakota. Could you, could you please specify what, what you Who, meant? Was that by Dakota your nominates Dakota? Yep. Cool. Dakota nominates themselves. Tell us about it, Dakota. Uh, I'm Dakota, the snake charmer. <laughs> I'm just a good old snake charming gal, just walking around streets, charming these snakes. Always been a snake charmer since I was a little girl. Um, but you know, uh, you're gonna kill me anyway, so it doesn't really matter what I am or what I'm not. I'm just a snake charmer. Let's not waste this many ghosts. Okay. First. That's a lot. Two required. What so if we needed half most... of them go down? Then we need we need most four, four, right? Snake. That's interesting, okay. Alright. It, it, yeah, we just, we need to commit. Yeah. Uh, Most of the worldviews the... seem to point to Dakota. If we're wrong, then we're wrong, and then evil played really well, and, and GG to them. Well, but Dakota is donated it, themselves Is it the Vortex as... game with everybody's info being wrong, or is it just me? What, what I'm interested in is, because Pat, you're the only person who claimed Serenovus until... You five is enough. Died, yeah. Five is enough. You... Dakota is on the block. 
Final call for nominations. Ben and Jamie, you may nominate. I've got no desire to nominate. I, I, I just don't know because the world you wear because that, make, that makes me the Serenovas if both Ben and D Dakota are both saying I think Serenovas. Dakota might be very well the Serenovas here nominated themselves yeah. got more votes than the Demon which would still make it Ben and his bullshit yesterday right but then Andrew P's artist question doesn't make I mean, sense because it's, it's still a clockmaker one Can't. which is still true information i mean i feel obliged to point out that andrew p's artist information does make sense if you think i'm the demon because his question is was the demon between me and madeline although i don't think you should explore that i'm pretty sure we've got the demon yeah, and Andrew got a no, correct? We can't, I mean, at this point, we can't beat it. Which without, doesn't match uh, up with uh, one. I'll, I'll, I'll repost it, or I guess that was the old version. Let me do it. I'm 100% yeah. convinced uh, that this is a Vortox game. Final call, 10 seconds. Jamie and Ben can nominate. So, Ben, are you saying this is Dakota, basically, right? And that's why you're yeah, not yeah, nominating? Yeah, yeah. I'm 100% I'm for Dakota. Uh, we can't beat it anyway, so I think it's not even worth exploring it. <laughs> what do you mean we can't beat it? There are seven votes on it. Without dead votes, without evil votes, we can't beat it, I don't think. All right, I would nominate Ben. I'll nominate Jamie ben. nominates Ben. <laughs> that must on be clue. one. <laughs> <laughs> Literally had my mouth open to announce an execution. Jamie, tell us about it. Uh... I, I just want a little bit more time to explore it. I think we've explored it enough, to be honest with you. I think, uh, I don't know, I don't think we're going to be able to beat it. But I, I, I'm i just caught up on the fact that Ben, as soon as Pat died, Ben then started mm -hmm. claiming, and I've seen Ben do that as the Serenovas before, start claiming to have been Serenovas. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. Okay, Ben, your defense. So just to be clear, Jamie, are you accusing me of being the Serenovas? No, I'm accusing you of being evil, but knowing that the Serenovas had died and therefore claiming to have been Serenovas. I see. Well, in that case, I don't think it's in mine or the good team's interest for me to respond. Very surprised if this gets enough. Okay. Uh, five to tie. This is for my moral victory once we on, find let's out. Make it, let's make it a photo game. finish. There we go. <laughs> Four is less than five. And Dakota is still on the block. Technically, ben says he's not nominating, right? Technically can be beaten if Ben wants to nominate Jamie. Ben, do you want to nominate Jamie? Does anyone want me to nominate Jamie? I'm pretty confident we've got it. Oh, all right. Yeah, no, ben. I want you to nominate cool. Jamie. Oh, of course uh, you do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, in that case, final call, Ben. No, I'm good. Go for it. Cool. Dakota is executed and dies. Sad Dakota. Uh, the good team wins. Yay! 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 I, I Everyone think I'm sorry, Ben. Sorry, <laughs> I, I think I picked the wrong kill. I should have killed Jamie. Not yeah, Aggie. totally. Yeah. I think Aggie was a pretty believable patsy. But at the end of the day, when, when it's the middle of the night, you're the demon, you're going into the final day, yeah. you're doing all of this in front of 300 people. Like, mm. hindsight's wonderful, right? Well. But, yeah, you did I, really well. I, uh, I, 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 I uh, had to edit my uh, uh, thing for like five minutes as I debated Jamie or Aggie. It was a really tough decision for me. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. what I was I kind of wanting you to do was to sink a kill because I'd cursed Jamie. And I'd much rather us be in an awkward, oh no, now it's the final day we weren't expecting this situation, than uh, than have like an, a whole day's worth of discussion about it. So um, I'm just going to run through quickly. Um, we have Mr. Malaki, top of the circle, your juggler claims uh, to juggle themselves as the juggler, and Navian as all four demons got a one. Um, Pat, your sage. Uh, come back to Pat. Ben, your witch who witched uh, I can't remember on day one. Andrew I'm the P on day one. one. Yeah. yeah, Andrew P on day one. Then Ekin successfully got the kill on Ekin. Then Jamie forever after that. Um, Dakota, your no dashi. Um, Ekin, your mutant who managed to claim not, not a demon bluff to Ben who had randomly claimed a demon bluff in the first conversation of the day to Ekin. So Ekin then swapped with Ben and was claiming the demon bluff and therefore was in a double claim with the demon. That was great. 
Uh, wow. Nearly got the demon killed day one. Would have been entertaining. Six votes on Dakota day one because of that double claim. Um, skills, your Serenovus, who Serenovus Pat as the Savant, then as the Juggler, then as the Oracle, and then died. Um, and as you as you quite rightly realised, this means that Dakota's no dashy poison was Pat and Aggie, your dreamer, who got a load of shit. I don't even remember what I told Aggie. It was largely bollocks. I told you the truth well, about it skills. it included Serenovus, yeah. That's why I was surprised. I was like, was that on purpose? What is yeah. going on? I was just, I just threw you skills to the Serenovus so that you would doubt it. Um, I totally doubted what Pat was saying. <laughs> yeah. Because I was so sure it was a Vortex. I was like, Pat is the Serenovus himself. That's not what it is. Skills might have been a witch. He was surely a minion, but not the Serenovus because this is a Vortex game. Oh. Yeah. Um, Love you, Aggie. Uh, Navian, your clockmaker, who got the correct one. That's Dakota to Ben. Andrew, who got the correct answer to their artist question, that no, none of Madeline, Art, Jamie, Malaki, Pat, or Ben were the demon. Um, Madeline died. Um, didn't get to use their seamstress ability. Art, your klutz, who picked Navian, who was good. And Jamie, your mathematician, who got a lot of ones. Um, and then finally, last night, got a zero. Um, Jamie and I basically had a conversation about how I should just get some like uh, train style recording of the latest information for the mathematician is a one. <laughs> <laughs> um, the bluffs uh, were all claimed Oracle, Flower Girl, Sweetheart, and that was your sex and violets. Woo! That was good. <laughs> that was really oh, yeah. funny. Well played, well played. That is 100% YouTube, YouTube material you. right there. I'm becoming acutely ben. aware that I'm only uploading games to YouTube when I win them, and it's going to make me look like a bit of a douche if I don't <laughs> upload <laughs> somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, I think the, the the critical moment actually was at five alive. Um, Jamie debated nominating, like vocally debated nominating, when you already had Pat on the block with four votes. And Jamie nearly nominated, which would have killed him, taking it down to four alive, and you'd have Ooh. had to get four votes to take Pat off the block, presumably on a dead person with a, a a tie, and that would have been another good vote, ghost vote gone. But Jamie then decided against it, and it was like, ah, uh, that was then very difficult for the evil team. 